Hi children, let us coming to 9th biology. Today we are going to discuss about chapter 5, diversity in living organisms. I mean that the living organisms are not in a unique form. I mean that not in only one species. They are having the different kinds of species exist in the nature. So, diversity is the symbol of nature. It is the hallmark of the nature. Means nature means it's not a unique a platform. It is the diversity means a different kinds of species are exist in the nature. That is the importance of nature. And biodiversity, the word biodiversity already learn in that eighth class itself. Biodiversity and its conservation. So regarding biodiversity, rather than these gold, the worth of the biodiversity is more because of we can exist in the nature with the help of all these living organisms. So, no one can be isolated in this nature. It's a very difficult task. Certainly, the biotic and abiotic components, there is a beautiful relationship. So, a branch of biology which deals with the relationship between the organisms and the environment is called as a ecology and these ecosystems apart from this biodiversity and diversity in living organisms. So this is the connecting link to that 8th and 9th class about this ecology, especially in biodiversity and these diversity in living organisms. So let us coming to that, these diversity in plants and animals. So let us take the plants, how the plants are diverse. Whereas in case of the activity number one, we discussed in the previous videos, observation of the plants. So while we are observing the plants, especially in the leaves, for example, see, name of the plant of leaf from which we have to take. So we have to collect the leaves from the different plants which is nearby surroundings. So obviously, when we are observing the length of the leaf, it may be vary from that centimeters, 5 to 6 or nearly it is 30 centimeters. For example, in mango or banana, it is having the more length. Next, width of the leaf also varies. Next, color of the leaf. Majority of the leaves are green in color because of the chlorophyll. Next, shape and size of the leaf. Someone is ovate, someone is elliptical. We are having the different shapes. Next, margin of the leaf. Someone is a smooth surface. Someone is a serrate. So, that we have to observe in that margin of the leaf. Next, venation of the leaf in the sense the veins arrangement of the leaf is called as venation. It is two kinds. One is a, a parallel venation in monocots, reticulate venation in dicots. So this is the activity number one, observation of plants, especially in the leaves. So let us coming to that uh, activity number two. Activity number two is uh, observation of external characters of plants. I mean that uh, monocots and uh, dicots. Do you have an idea about uh, what is meant by monocot and what is meant by dicots? So monocots are nothing but uh, single cartilidins. Dicots are having the two cartilidins. That means seed leaves. So, collect at least the five different uh, plants. Uh, among them, at least include the two or grass family because of uh, maize, paddy, wheat. Uh, these are called as uh, this grass family. They are having the monocots uh, remaining or uh, dicots. See, activity number two is observation of the external characters of uh, monocots and uh, dicots. So, let us coming to the two. Let us coming to the activity number two refers to the columns like uh, name of the plant. Just we have to collect the plants five out of five two may be in uh, this grass family. So length of the stem and the length between the nodes. You know that the nodes are nothing but for example this is a sugar cane. Imagine that. So we are having clear nodes are there. So the space between the these uh, two nodes are called as internodes. Leaf venation already we are having the idea. Next, flower in a singular born in group. So, in case of the monocots, for example, see these maize, paddy, wheat, the flowers are in a bunches. Whereas coming to dicots like hibiscus, they are having the single. So, these are called as a flower position in a single in a uh, Dicots uh, born in group in the monocots. Number of petals and sepals. Do you know parts of the flowers like uh, sepals, petals, calyx, uh, or uh, corolla? These are the parts. And andrisium, gynesium, these are the sexual parts of the flower. Next, coming to number of petals and number of sepals. So, let us coming to the number of uh, petals. One, two, three. See, one, two, three. Petals are there. Next, sepals are 1, 2, 3. So, 3 sepals and 3 petals are present in the monocots. While coming to the two dicots, they are having the 5 sepals and 5 petals. So, that is the difference between 
number of sepals petals in monocots and dicots so coming to root system tap root is present in the tap root or main root is present in the these uh, dicots fibrous roots are present in the monocots this we have to observe that one see this is a fibrous roots so these are having the only one main root or tap root so this is the difference between monocots and dicots uh, external characters so let us coming to the two uh, activity number 3 so this activity number 3 refers to the two uh, activity number 3 observation of the seeds so till now we discuss about that monocots and dicots uh, so some more clarity we are going to get uh, observation of the seeds so collect some seeds from the plants of uh, green gram red gram bengal gram i mean that these are the pulses uh, obviously these are having the two cotyledons and uh, coming to v2 paddy maize these are uh, monocotyledons so we have to make the list of these uh, uh, collected uh, seeds and we have to soak them for a day and observe them carefully so while we are soaking one day overnight so next day morning while we are coming to the class just we have to uh, take the these seeds for example maize seed and we have to press against with this between the two fingers one whitish color portion will be coming out that we call as a cartilage or seed leaves so obviously from the these maize we are getting a baby cartilage or a single cartilage will be coming out that we call as a seed leaves or cartilage so these wheat paddy maize having the single cartilage and the pulses like uh, bengal gram red gram green gram groundnut they are having the two cartilages so this is the information about uh, activity number 3 already we discussed so next activity number 4 uh, activity number 4 is uh, observation of uh, different characters in monocots and uh, dicots so for this activity number 4 uh, for better clarity we are going to test book page number 72 so in the 72 page maize plant rice plant grass plant uh, these are called as monocots whereas coming to that uh, bean plant green gram plant and uh, groundnut these are uh, dicots so these are having the fibrous roots these are having the tap root parallel venation reticulate venation monocotyledon dicotyledon flowers are bunches flowers are uh, single leaf venation is parallel venation reticulate venation so these are the clear differences in uh, test book page number 72 observation just we go we go to the uh, page 53 observation of that uh, activity number 4 uh, observation of different characters of monocots and uh, dicots so maize paddy grass uh, these are monocots uh, beans uh, green gram uh, groundnut uh, these are dicots so leaf venation in uh, these monocots uh, are having a uh, parallel these are uh, reticulate venation cartilages are single uh, these are two these are uh, fibrous root system these are uh, tap root system so this is the uh, clear information about uh, monocots and uh, dicots uh, based on the test book uh, content next coming to today we are going to discuss about uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, activity number 5 which refers to diversity in uh, animals so in this uh, regards diversity in animals uh, how the animals are diverse one animal is different to another animal let us take uh, one example of uh, insects so insects are the uh, creatures uh, which are exist in the soil so they are having the different uh, species for example house flies mosquitoes ant dung beetle butterfly moth cockroach from uh, your surroundings uh, you have to collect and you have to observe them with uh, magnifying glass to get a closer view so apart from this uh, what we are supposed to do is uh, let us fill this uh, column name of the insects just we have to note down the insects which we are collected and we have can go to that observation of number of legs number of wings and color shape size and body parts you know that usually the insects are having the three body parts one is the head portion next one is thoracic or chest cavity next abdominal portion so head chest abdomen these are called as three body segments are three other characters we are going to explain see when coming to the to the study material let us take an example of the study material see name of the insects just uh, what we have given in the uh, test just we have to note down the names house fly mosquito ant dung beetle butterfly spider and cockroach and we can observe that uh, number of the legs see house fly they are having the six uh, legs six legs means three pairs of legs and the number of wings are two that means uh, one pair so it is a gray color triangle in shape 1.2 mm of size and body parts are as we know that head thorax and abdomen so it is other type is spongy type so mode of acquiring the food is spongy type 
next one is uh, mosquito as as usual uh, six pairs of uh, six uh, legs i mean that uh, three pairs are six legs are there next uh, number of wings are two brown in color triangle shape uh, and 1.1 uh, mm of uh, is uh, size next coming to that uh, as usual body parts are three next coming to that uh, these uh, mosquitoes uh, we know that uh, it is a piercing and sucking piercing means uh, can be injecting the needle like structure that that we call as a proboscis into the uh, skin and they collect the blood so this is called as a piercing and a sucking type next to coming to ant as usual six number of legs and two number of wings black color bowel shape they are having the 0.8 mm of size three parts of body segments and chewing type next coming to the dung beetle as usual six legs two wings black color oval shape 1.1 mm of size and head thorax and abdomen portion this is chewing type next example is butterfly butterfly is also having the same six legs and four wings that means two pairs of wings are there orange color and it is having the irregular shape means roughly shape 1.2 mm of size head to thorax abdomen portion and sucking type it is only sucking but whereas coming to the mosquitoes are piercing and sucking next spider eight legs are there eight legs next here they are having the two pairs of wings next gray color oval shape 1.1 mm of size cephalothorax means these cephalo means head thorax means abdomen both are combined i mean that they are having only cephalothorax means head and this chest cavity is mingled or mixed and one abdominal cavity these are only two body parts next sucking type next coming to last one cockroach as we have very familiar so six coming to that number of legs are six and number of wings are four reddish brown color oval shape 9 cm head thorax and abdomen this is called as a sucking type so this is the information as usual from that uh, this is the test book columns so let us coming to the questions which are given in the test book content so all the insects are all the insects of the same size or shape no all the insects are having the different sizes different sizes and uh, different sizes and different uh, shapes so next coming to that uh, what difference uh, did you find to observe with regard to legs so legs are having uh, mainly three pairs or uh, uh, six legs we observed that one next uh, uh, what difference did you find with regard to wings actually coming to wings the wings are not uh, feathery as in birds means uh, the insects are not flying like uh, birds because of that not uh, a feathery but they can be able to fly with the minimum distance next to uh, how do you group the insects so based on the uh, arthropods means uh, joint and legs uh, of course they are having the joint legs based on the wings number based on the uh, body segments based on the body uh, parts uh, we are having to differentiate in a uh, different uh, classes of uh, insects uh, class next uh, what would be based on the body segments uh, would it be based on the body segments or number of uh, legs uh, they have so based on the body segments uh, the insects are differentiated differentiated into different uh, examples of uh, different classes so till now we discuss about uh, activity number uh, five observation of external characters of insects next we have to continue that uh, activity number six uh, in test book uh, variations in uh, animals like external characters uh, this we are going to discuss in a uh, next video children thank you children thank you very much